try to look far in the distance, but if you look too far, you won't see what's on your foot. I understand. Then, you are trying to search for that strange energy? Correct. After Bison was destroyed, the positive energy returned, and the world went back to normal. However, even in this tranquil atmosphere, I sense a source of disturbing energy from the one called G. To see through its true nature, I think I have no choice but to touch it directly with my soul. Now I see. That's why you were practicing against me. You wanted to try and refine your soul power. <laughs> I am sorry, old master. No need to apologize. Besides, I got this nice shirt from you as a little souvenir. I am very happy that you like it. The traditional Japanese crane pattern is very chic. You have such great taste. Oh, no. <laughs> then, old master, I will take my leave. Hmm. Did you see that, Yamasin? She must be in love with me. Ah, if this could only have happened a century earlier. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's leave that for now. I do sense a strange energy. <laughs> it is as I suspected. Anyhow, it's time for dinner. Hello! I thought we might have a meal together. Welcome, old master. You came all this way just to share a meal? Well, perhaps we could have a little talk while the curry is simmering. Let me pose a question to you. What happens when evil ambition drives the world to the brink of destruction? Bison, I can only assume you are talking about him. However, that man no longer... ...exists, am I right? If you are convinced it was his psycho power and his tremendous army, which sent the whole world into crisis, then I would say we have avoided the worst possible outcome for the time being. However, what if a real threat does not have a physical form like an army, but is something intangible, like a force of will? What if it is his dark ambition itself that is trying to swallow the entire world? Do you mean, even after his death, his dark ambition is still corrupting our world? That is difficult for me to imagine. Then please, allow me to surmise. But you are about a century too early. I didn't expect that. Old Master, you are most unpredictable. Ha ha ha! How was that? Well, this may have been just for fun. 
even if something was just for fun. And if one has the sheer will of force to win, no matter what, or if one is willing to consider the possibility of losing, the result could be entirely different. My mind did not consider this. Oh, the will of Bison. Could it be? Yes, the dark ambition of that man with his tremendous power has already been exerted upon this world. It consistently threatens our existence. If he has used that concept to instill his will into others, then the apocalypse may yet come to pass. So you're saying, even after Bison's death, we still can't stop the world from moving towards destruction? Sadly, yes. And that, my dear friend, may be the true nature of psychopower. Corrupt and control people's minds. It is indeed quite disturbing. In that case, how do we avert that which is inevitable? Well, firstly, you could stop with the pessimistic attitude. Consider this. If such a powerful force of will could threaten the entire world, then those people, in the right state of mind, may have the power to save it instead. What is strength? Most who seek it end up vying for domination or destruction. Such things are a natural consequence, but they are ultimately meaningless. To overwhelm, subjugate, or even kill those who oppose you is but one interpretation of strength. However, if one's mind were free from such desires, then they sought out strength purely for its own sake. If a human with such a clear and unselfish state of mind does indeed exist, then that person could prevent the impending apocalypse, but only that person with that kind of strength. Oh. Aha! Well then, I believe that the curry is finally ready. Oh. Yes. Shall we? I'm starving. Yes. But, old master, I'd like to hear more of your thoughts on this. Perhaps you young people should figure it out. Ah, I'm starving. So, what kind of curry have you prepared today? But, old master, I... To seek strength, purely for its own sake. To find someone in this world who is both pure of mind and pure of heart, that would also be very interesting. 